Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain how you can even test ABS and traction control module. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger, if you guys have a dot challenger and you want to check uh, where the ABS brake pump is located and the traction control module is located, ABS traction control module, stay with us, we will explain that in this video today, uh, we will talk about that, how we can test it guys, common problems with those, all that will be covered in this video today and also if you have problems we will check what you need to uh, check first because it may not be the traction control and ABS module that's bad. So before we start let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh and in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Dot Challenger or any car you want to save quite a bit of money, get them at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's start on it now. So what we have specifically here, 2018 Dot Challenger guys, this is the car okay, right here. Now uh, if you look, that's specifically it's a 3.6 engine, but even if you have a different engine procedure it's about the same. They will be at the same location guys for most dot challengers so if you look now right here when you open the hood of your vehicle and you come to the left side right here next to the windshield washer reservoir you have that device where you have two brake lines coming right here from the brake pump those are the, the main brake lines right here and then you have other four and these four are actually guys for each of the wheels okay two for the front two for the back and if you look on that thing right here on the back side, that device right here, it's known as a ABS brake pump. This is your ABS brake pump. We we'll have a video on the channel how to replace ABS brake pump if you want to check it out and how to test ABS brake pump. Another thing that you can uh, see right here, guys, this is uh, the module, the computer for the traction control and the ABS system as well this is the computer itself now how do you guys replace that we'll have the video on the channel that will teach you all about that so uh, check it out and you will be able to find out how to replace it we have a video how to test abs and traction control module uh, computer as well this is the valve body right here uh, now that can fail as well but often when we have problems it's either the brake pump itself or it's the traction control module, ABS traction control module right here. The body itself not very often develop problems even though it's possible. Things that you need to check if you have problems with ABS traction control module, first fuses, relays for traction control module, connector make sure it's plugged in, you don't have loose wires and it's not contaminated with water, oil or anything like that because if you power wash your engine you might have gotten it wet. One common problem with those traction control modules, ABS modules, is that they have a seal and that seal eventually does not seal correctly and when you power wash your car or you drive through uh, rain when it's humid, that can start affecting it as well. So, uh, definitely guys, okay, check it out. If you want to see where the, uh, the fuses relays are for the traction control module, all that stuff, check it out on our second YouTube channel, Electrical Car Repair Life. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching and see you next time.